Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Steve Pulaski Tries It, a show dedicated to the analysis and appreciation of the products we know, love, and consume. So here we go. I'm your host, Steve Pulaski. Thanks for joining me once again. Today, we're going to be tackling a product that I saw months ago. I saw it all the way back in July of 2014. And ever since then, I saw it once at a 7-Eleven, but I left too quickly. I was with a buddy. We had to go. We had to get in and get out. I saw it. I didn't have any time to buy it. We left. And I never saw it again, and I've been livid ever since. So what it is, first and foremost, is the yellow edition of Red Bull. If you guys didn't know, Red Bull's created like three different color editions, variations on their own drink. Um, which is interesting because Red Bull, for a while, didn't do anything. Like, they only had Red Bull. They had Red Bull Sugar Free. They had Red Bull Total Zero. Then they came out. I remember in 08, they had a big marketing push for Red Bull Cola, which sold terribly, wasn't a very good drink. So they just kind of discontinued that real quietly a couple years after its um, debut. Then after a few more years, they came out with the uh, red, silver, and blue editions of the drink. And you know what? I, I know I've had them. I don't know if Mike and I did a tries it of those or, like, way back when, if there's even a video of those, or we made it, we never uploaded. I might have to look for that because I think that we did do a video like planning on trying those, but we never either never uploaded or maybe we did. I have no idea. I've gotten to the point now where I've done so many different tries its that like it's hard for me to remember what I did and what I didn't or how many I've even done in the first place. So, uh, but thanks again. I keep doing them because you guys love them. But anyway, I'm going to school tomorrow, so it's like 6.30 in the morning. So I stop at Speedway to get a breakfast sandwich and, um, and a coffee. So I go there, and I see that they have this, and I'm like, oh, Christ. You know what I mean? It's like, well, I'm not going to like, you know, I've been waiting months to see this product again, asking you shall receive. Uh, I needed to buy it right then and there. And I saw they had a couple other flavors. They had like a, a purple edition or something. It was like wild berry or whatnot. I might try that in the near future. But right now, I'm just dying to try this yellow edition of Red Bull, okay? I really am. Because um, I, like I said, I only saw it that one time. Never saw it again. Thought I was nuts. I even looked online and I couldn't find it. I thought it was citrus. You know, kind of like that's what I can't, that's what you kind of equate yellow with is, you know, being citrus. So, um... That's what I initially thought, but then what I did was then I saw it. It's actually the tropical flavor. So we're going to pop top on this. Not going to let the good times roll. I only, I only let the good times roll to forget what we were fighting for when I popped the bottle, when I actually have to oh, use a bottle opener open it. People are like, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Watch you, uh, Steve Plasky tries it at Lester Fix, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so go for the pour right now, I suppose. That'd be the logical step. It's a little bit bigger than a traditional Red Bull can. I mean, Red Bull cans come in, let's see if I can remember, 8.4 ounces, 12, 16, and 20. Yeah, you can tell I work, you can tell I work retail because I know that. This is 12 ounces. So this is about the standard size can. I thought it was actually 16 for some reason. I'm out of it. Uh, okay, so first off, I don't even have to put my nose to it, but I will anyway because like I get an overwhelming citrus tropical mango sensation. Yeah, very tropical has like a mango scent to it, maybe light undertones of citrus, incredibly carbonated, you can even tell, comes in um, kind of like an orange cream yellowish color, kind of like a golden color, um, yeah, so far it checks out, so we're going to try it, cheers, let's get to it. Okay, right off the bat, very tart, very tart. You can even see me probably pucker when I try, when I tried it for the first time. Um, and in general, energy drinks they pack kind of like a sour punch to them. A lot of them do. Uh, the one that I actually know that like the one energy drink. There's two energy drinks I really liked. Like I don't really go for Red Bull all the time. I usually go for Monster Rehab a regular monster, and then there was one energy drink I loved, but they discontinued, I used to get it at Jewel Osco all the time, it was called Lost Energy, it had like a really cool can art with a bunch of like graffiti style writing on it, but that's not the point, um, excuse me, why I like those energy drinks the most, because they didn't have that much like sour burn to them, where this one is very tart, like I'm actually surprised by how tart this drink is, uh, definitely not to a fault, but it is a little bit more tart than I think it should be. Um, and maybe that just comes kind of with the tropical flavor. I actually forgot because I'm a moron. I didn't read the back of um, 
the nutritional effects. It's a little bit difficult to read because it's like silver on yellow. Uh, one can has 160 calories, 0 grams of total fat, 200 milligrams of sodium, 42 grams of total carbohydrates, 39 grams of sugar, and less than 1 gram of protein, okay? So it says the caffeine content also is 114 milligrams for 12 fluid ounces. So I think that's quite a bit. I don't really know the scale of that, but I think that's quite a bit. Um, anyway, though, like I said, very tart... But very refreshing, too. That's the one thing. I know it's like not really a, re um, a common thing you say about an energy drink. Rejuvenating is more like it. But like this is a very refreshing taste to it. It's definitely different than the traditional Red Bull style. Sorry for the camera, B. I'm trying a different, like, setting a different angle. So, like, sorry about the camera if it's, like, kind of, like, tilting upwards. You can't really see, see like, the drink and such. I apologize for that. But, um, because I'm doing it on the width of the table, not the length, so you don't get, like, a lot of that, like, arm room that I had. But anyway, though, uh, I do like this. It's definitely not a bad drink. Like I said, a little bit too sweet, a little bit too tart, I mean, a little bit too tart, a little bit too sour. But other than that, though, I'm impressed. It's not a bad drink whatsoever. Um, I do like it better than the silver. I wasn't a big fan of the silver edition of Red Bull, if I, I remember correctly. And the blue and the red, I could really take or leave. Honestly, out of all of them, I like this one the best. Definitely a pretty good drink. Makes me interested to see about Wildberry, because I like Wildberry as a flavor more than I like Tropical. So, like, I'm definitely going to have to pick that one up probably maybe tomorrow when I go to school again. Uh, when I, you know, stop at the gas station or whatever. But anyway, though... Out of four stars, I'm going to give this one a solid three out of four stars. I like it. Very good. Very refreshing. A little bit too sour, but still, take it or leave it. It is a pretty good drink. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Steve Pulaski Tries. It. I'll be back with some more later.